Good evening and welcome to your virtual open house and welcome to U.S. History for 10th graders. Uh, my name is Beth Miskowski and I will be your student's teacher for this year. So what I want to do in this short video is just give you some important um, ideas and expectations for the students as we move forward. So first off, um, up on the screen is my email address which is the best way to contact me if there's a question or concern or if the student is unable to either be in person when they're supposed to be in person or unable to do remote work or whatnot emailing is the best way to get in touch with me um, and room 160 at the high school is where your students will be um, for u.s history this year um, just a little bit about myself um, I have been in Brexville since 2005, mostly teaching at the high school, uh, American and World History. I started having my children in 2012, um, took some time off. The last couple of years I've been between the high school and the middle school. My days have been split, and this is my first year back full-time at the high school. So I'm very excited to be back up here. Um, I have taught U.S. History for many years, and I look forward to... A very interesting and um, engaging year ahead. So this course is modern U.S. history and for the most part we're going to be covering material from Reconstruction to as close to the present as we possibly can. So like I told the students this week this is like part two or the exciting conclusion to what they learned about in eighth grade U.S. history um, which ended around the time of the Civil War. So this is definitely going to take more of a modern look um, at our country since then. So because it's 2020, we have to talk about safety first. And these are the safety practices that I discussed with students um, during the, the first week they were in person. So number one, masks must be worn properly during the class and every day. Uh, number two, students will not congregate and will maintain appropriate social distancing. So uh, my desks are measured um, somewhere between three to six feet apart from one another, and when possible, they are staggered. Um, and the students know that when they come into the classroom, they are to go directly to their seats um, and remain there for the rest of the period. Number three, there will be no, no tolerance policy when it comes to safety measures. So as I discussed with them, um, there are no warnings this year. If somebody is out of line, um, they are going to be sent to the office. So because safety is such an important policy, um, and so important um, to keep our distance and whatnot, um, there definitely has to be a no tolerance policy when it comes to goofing around or getting, you know, in people's faces or anything like that. Number four, students are to bring their own supplies to class with them. There's no sharing of supplies. Um, so if they need Kleenexes or they need extra pens or pencils, they do need to bring their own material. And finally, students will remain in their seats for the duration of the period unless there is an emergency. So again, we talked about all these things, but these are super, super important to me as we move forward. And hopefully there will not be any problems with that. All right, moving forward, some important things about the class itself. Um, number one, all information and assignments are on Google Classroom, and all assignments are to be turned in through Google Classroom. So I'm a mom of four children, and two of which are in school. And I know for me personally, the most important thing is there to be one place where you can go to find all the materials and assignments that you need for that class. And so for me, that's going to be Google Classroom. And I spent a lot of time with the students this week talking about the ins and outs of my organizational um, ways of doing things and my strategies for doing things and whatnot. But Google Classroom is where they need to go for everything. Um, all the assignments will be posted through there. Um, all the videos that they need to be watched. Um, all the extra activities that they need to do will all be embedded in Google Classroom. Number three, when in-person students need a computer and headphones, 
So that is an everyday type of thing when they are in person. A good computer and headphones or earbuds are fine. Number four, when working remotely, students must join the Google Meet session at the beginning of the period. And all that information can be found through Google Calendar, which can be also found via Google Classroom as well. Um, when working remotely, they do need to sign in and join the Google Meet at the beginning of the period. Um, I will take attendance. I will introduce what they are going to be doing that day. I will ask if there are any questions, and then the remote kids will be released to do what they need to do for the day. So the Google Meet is for the days that they are working remotely. Number five, when working remotely, it is expected that the students complete the assigned tasks. Number six, unit tests will be given during in-person days. So the big unit tests, uh, probably once every three to four weeks, will be given in person, more, more than likely on the computer, but they will be given in person. Uh, number seven, all grades will be found in progress book. And number eight, a week at a glance will be posted on the Google Classroom um, in the stream beginning at the beginning of the week so students can plan ahead. So I went through with the students how to get to Google Stream and what they will see is a Google Sheet that is posted before the week begins um, of my anticipated plans for the two different groups. Um, so if they want to stay organized and plan ahead, that's a really, really good way of doing so. Um, other than that, I look forward to a engaging year ahead. I look forward to hopefully teaching your students events in American history that they have not yet gotten yet um, on the historical timeline. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to email me at any time. You know, I stress to the students that communication and flexibility will be key this year. And so if you have any problems or concerns, please let me know so that we can address them. I wish everybody a good evening, stay healthy, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your virtual open house. Thank you.